all right guys we've uh, seen what we've done so far and uh, what the generator did for us it was able to generate uh, a lot of uh, custom code for us so what we're going to be doing in this video series is to do a lot of adjustments a lot but first of all I want to explain what really happened as you can see it changed the design where did it get this design let's go to their website the website of this is called admin LTE so in FIOM Laravel generator uses something called admin LTE I think it's .io if I remember clearly so admin LTE.io is a website um, that built a, an admin template using bootstrap you see this is an admin template uh, this is exactly what it is using all right so the people that built the Laravel generator simply uh, used the infused the admin uh, LTE template into it so if you want to understand this admin LTE template better you click on docs of course there are other templates you can buy but they use the free version look at other designs of the templates how much is this um, uh, $59 $35 um, 35 so you can see different designs of the templates all right um, download latest release uh, buy you see different designs but we're using the basic one so this is the documentation and uh, the version we're using is 2.4 version and if you read through this you see uh, different things you can do with it for instance components main header sidebar and um, different things you can do with the admin LTE and uh, different things you can add for instance um, I think somewhere here um, if you go through it you will see dependencies and plugins you see different other external plugins you can add to this for instance it can plot graphs for you if you are designing something that has to do with charts you see if you form elements see bootstrap slider ion slider so if you wanted things that slide you see calendar i check calendar time picker you can all add all this then there are text editors um, you see what you see is what you get html5 text editor ck editor bootstrap editor you see examples of how to add them then you have data tables we will add data tables and we'll have to add text editors and um, in case you don't know what text editors is for instance when you're trying to post something on a website for instance if we do add new now I think um, on if we go to category and we click on add new I want to show you what text editor is in case you don't know uh, let's say we want to edit click on edit you see here if we're typing text it will just be raw what if we want to upload a picture what if we want to make this one bold and what if we want to change the color of each of these there's no way to do that so but one will automatically integrate a text editor they will uh, it will instantly appear here all right all those controls will appear so that's what text editors are so you see all these ones then you have data tables data tables help you to organize tables or uh, we'll integrate it you see see calendar um, maps very nice things just take your time and go through but we'll use a couple of all these things so you get to know how to use them all right now um, most of the things we'll be doing like I said is just uh, we'll be customizing the code to look more like what we're looking for so once the uh, design changes like this it means that um, you need to log in so first of all we'll start with the this top and change it to what we are working with I think here we'll have to change this login first so with the login i remember my username was dave so my password is lost again uh, so the very first thing i want to do is to rearrange this menu i'll put the uh, admin sensitive menus to be at the bottom for instance i want only admin to be able to see users profile all right i want only admin to be able to track number of views on things and um, what else I don't want users to see categories do I I don't really want that to happen and um, what else cost user will change this to subscription so let's go and work on this menu we get back to this place and uh, we're gonna see our resources we're going to see um, side menu items layout payments vendor so we're going to layout we're going to menu.blade so now we have something we need 
So if you scroll up, you're going to see that we have categories, comments, um, courses, course user. So this is where we have course user. And um, remember, we want to change it to subscription. So I can do subscription. If we come back here and reload, we will see subscriptions, OK? So we don't need comments. Only admin can see comments. So we'll copy it to the bottom see comments i'm going to drag this to stretch it out beautiful so this is comment we'll copy it and um above items right here so we need to write a code that will help um laravel know that this section is just admin section so i'll do control question mark on my keyboard it will help me to it will automatically start writing code question control question mark then I can say admin section so this is a this is just a comment this is how you do comment in um, Laravel HTML or blade okay so I'll know that below here is admin section so above we have courses categories courses mm, I think I'll change this to my courses okay so if we were here we will have admin courses like all courses so we have courses twice we'll still change the link so these are my courses these are subscriptions um i don't think we need this i think we have to remove this and uh, you'll see why very soon this is just a matter of design concept i'll change categories to courses so once people click courses, they will see list of categories and then they have to select the category to see the courses. But if they click on subscriptions, they can then see um, directly um, subscriptions. There's another way we can do that. If we went back, we can instead make them see all courses and then they will see um, categories. So either way, you're good to go it's it's very very okay either way so i'll prefer the first method where we have uh all courses courses then we have subscriptions um if we refresh i say all courses subscriptions so the rest of this i'm going to comment them out for admin so we're going to do an if uh, we want to say if it's an admin alt user row id so um this this is a way to check row uh we're gonna say we're basically saying check the current user that is logged in check their row id field and know whether it's an admin uh, basically whether it's less than three don't worry if you don't understand what i'm doing now i'll tell you i'll explain what i'm doing very soon so we'll come to the bottom here paste this so let me explain it turned out that we have an a problem and that problem is that we forgot to create the role table all right the we need a role table so i'll come here and create a role Call it roles so what role table helps you to do is to create user levels where you have admin uh, manager moderator and so on all right uh we kind of jumped the gun there uh we need to create the table in migration first it will be php artisan um make a migration then we say migration then we say create create underscore role roles underscore table hit enter that creates the roles table so we'll quickly get to our code and fix it now if you don't understand what i'm trying to do it's okay it's okay to be a little confused but you will see me sort it out very soon so we'll go to database and we'll go to migrations we'll look for role so every time you're designing any website that has to do with um, multiple user roles you need to have a roles table so I'm looking for it here. Maybe it has not it has not been created. I'll just refresh this. And um, 
row. Look at it, rows table, it has created itself. So in row table, all we need is the row ID and maybe just row name, table string, string, and uh, name, the name of the row. Okay, so um, example of uh, data that we can have here is admin. Um, whoever staff the admin employs to manage this platform, let's call the person moderator or persons moderators. And then we can have normal, we can have course creators, course creators, or let, let me call it instructors, instructors. All right, then we have normal users or students. I will call them users, but you know, we know that they are students. So these are different um, levels, I should, I think students, students, these are the different levels we can have here and you'll see how it will all work out. But what, what we need to do is to get to users table and make sure that we have a role ID. So somewhere down there, every user has to belong to a role. So I'll duplicate this line because I'm lazy and then I'm going to call it role ID. Every user has to belong to a role, but the default role the user will belong to is five, is four. The reason it's four is because we're going to be numbering the role table. So let's say that student is one, student is four, instructor is role number three, and uh, moderator is role number two, and then admin is role number one. All right, because as we're creating them, there will be um, auto increment ID that will be adding on those and it will give us this. So we're saying that basically if a user just signs up, we should just sign the user up as um, a student by default and then they can walk their way through. All right, now we have this, we're going to run migration. Since we don't have anything in particular in our database, it's okay, we can just run the whole migration again. But if you are designing yours and you discover such an error somewhere in between the whole design where you have uploaded a lot of data, I will suggest that you go to your database manually and create this. So right now I'm going to run migration again. PHP artisan migrate. So it's going to wipe out everything. So um, so far it didn't even refresh. It just updated the roles table. I think uh, we would have needed it to migrate the uh, users table. There's a way to do that manually, but I will just do migrate refresh. PHP artisan migrate fresh wipe out everything and give me all the tables yeah all over again i want them all all right this is beautiful now which means we have to sign up all over again but before we get to that i want to run the um the code the laravel generator for roles and rerun that of the users so we're gonna do um let's do for roles first you'll see why shortly this is Laravel generator for roles. All right, do you remember this code? That's what I've got. I'm going to run, hit enter. Yeah, it creates the roles for me. But when I want to do it for users, you remember that so many, um, it has already created the files for users, different files for the users table. So when I want to run it now, it's, it will keep asking me whether it needs to overwrite the files. So we have users, we have user, oops. So you see the question it will start asking me now. User, to start asking me should it overrun? Okay, this sounds cool. And um, as usual, it will it will try and um, this sounds cool. It kind of overwrote the whole users thing. Cool. Now what you have to notice is that um, if we go back to menu, remember in resources under views, if we go back to layouts and let's say to the menu, I think it's sidebar or menu, if we go back to menu, you'll see that it has added a new menu at the bottom. Remember that this is where we did end if the last time, some few minutes ago, we ended this if at the bottom. So we created row. See, it added the row um, link at the bottom. Then it also added the new users link. So every time you run the InfiOM Laravel generator, it keeps updating this. This is not the only thing it updates. Let me add this here. And uh, we had users is already existing here, so I'll remove this. This is not the only thing it updates. It updates your route file. Let's go to route file. We'll go to route, go to web.php. 
and scroll to the bottom. If you scroll to the bottom, you will see that it has created roles, routes, but it also created users again. If you look here, you see that users already exist before. So every time you rerun, it will always recreate. Okay, um, I have to save this. Then I have to come here and save this. So we have to get back to the website. We'll get back to our site. If I refresh now, it's going to log me out because remember that we have already cleaned out the database and reinstalled everything. So there's no data there. If I refresh, it's going to throw me out, which means I have to re-register a new account. All right, so I have to go to register a new membership. And um, as usual, we're just going to do what we used to do. Password. Password is password. That's beautiful. Click register. It's going to register and log in. Okay, okay, that's awesome. So now we've logged in. So what you can now observe is that we only have two links here instead of all the menus. The reason all the menus are not visible to us is because the ID, the current ID of this user, is not less than. Look at what we, the code we wrote here. I am inside views, layouts, menu. So remember that we wrote this code here that says if the row ID field of this user is less than three. So let's go to the database and check what's happening. I'm going to log in. So let's go to the user on Lara course. We're going to users. So we have only one user. Let's go and check what the role ID is of this user. I'm trying to scroll. Subscribe data of agenda role. I'm trying to scroll to the right. Okay, yeah, I've seen what I'm looking for. So if we drag to the right, see role ID is four. Okay, so we're basically saying, um, remember what we did in roles. If the role ID is less than three, you see, less than three means it's either a moderator or an admin. Show the rest of those details. Otherwise, just show only the top two. That's what we basically did here. So basically, uh, that's the code. Let me let me delete web that page. Please. Let me close it. Okay, basically we're saying if it's less than three, which means it's either moderator or admin, then show all this list. Okay, but if it is not, show this top two. Now we have to take care of um, the instructor. An instructor should be able to create a course, right? So we're gonna say here. Copy the same thing because I'm damn lazy. I'll do control question mark so it will create this thing for me I'll do moderator and then I'll do paste at end if so we're gonna do if the role ID is is um, less than is less than four that means it's a moderator so show the create new course okay I'll create new course see we are going to call it um, create course. Or we can just call it my courses. My courses is like courses I created. My courses. I think this makes more sense. My courses. All right. So uh, courses I created. I think anyone you choose is okay. So if I refresh. Um, we don't see that because, of course, our IDs, um, role ID is just um, four, which means we're just a normal student. But if we could go to the database and modify it, I'll double click here and we'll make it three, hit enter. That means we are now um, an instructor. If we come here and refresh, um, refresh, reload, you will see that it has added, you see, my courses. It has added. So we are now a moderator. All right. So it depends on what you want to play around with. Okay. Or whatever you want to play around with is okay. But I hope you now you're now starting to understand how we can create multi-user roles. All right. So if it's an admin, admin will see the rest. So let's focus on what the user will see and build out this just uh, three parts. And then we go into uh, further details. So the first one is the user shows up. Uh, this is the home, as you can see. 
slash home, the user shows up, what do they see when they show up? You get what I'm saying? So that's a good question. Now, a good answer would be, let us um, find some block designs. So if we come here, and I think um, on the home page, all right, so um, let's click on all courses. And uh, you see that it has, um, this is basically the course categories. Uh, we want the course categories to be listed so that um, the courses, somebody will click on it to now go see all the courses. So what we're going to do is to find a simple way to do that. Let's list some categories first. Uh, I clicked on this add new button here. And I'm going to add some sample categories. What do we call e-commerce? We started with e-commerce the other time. E-commerce category. And we're going to put description. Say so this is Lorem Ipsum description for this e-commerce category. And I'm going to copy it and duplicate it several times just to create a long list of categories. And I'm just going to put on one. And we're going to do the same thing. Um, okay, uh, we lock, we're locked out. We'll work on that later. We will work on that. So, but for now, let's just log in. So, the way Laravel does by default, it just, it just logs you out after a few minutes. By default, we can change that. Um, I think now is a good time to quickly change that. So, to do that, we have to go to our ENV file. So, if you go to your folder, your Laravel folder down now, you see your ENV file. That's where most configurations are done. You will now see session lifetime. This is in minutes. So, 120 minutes, which is basically two hours when uh, uh, that's two hours that your session should last. So, this is one place to say change it. It doesn't always um, work perfectly, but this is a, a good place to change it. So, we're going to do um, instead of 120, which is just barely two hours, we want to make it in weeks. Basically, if the person logs in uh, at all, um, it should they should stay logged in for a long time. So I just added an extra two zeros. Remember that there are other things controlling your sessions, such as your PHP uh, installation in your WAMP server. It could be controlling your sessions too. So uh, you should take note of that. But we have increased that for now. Let's see how it works going forward now usually you need to rerun your php artisan serve for whatever changes you made on this env file to to take place all right um we need to come here and rerun php artisan serve right here Control c it stops up arrow enter so sometimes you need to close this um this field entirely before you run it all over again for it to work okay so we're there and um, we're back here on all courses uh, we see that we created a category okay didn't create because it logged out we see um, add new e-commerce we'll paste this oops this is Lauren Gibson. um I didn't spell most of these things correctly, but it's okay, it's okay. So copy, paste, 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 paste. All right, so save. Um, colon view count cannot be null, okay, because we did not enter one here. So what I'll try to do is to make this the default. So we go to uh, database. Like I told you, what we'll be doing going forward is just digging around to make things work well. So we want to make the column for view count default in categories. So we go to categories. So view count default is zero, right? Yeah. Okay, one, we're good, save. So it is now saved. Let's create another one just for fun. Uh, apart from e-commerce, we can have technology. Uh, technology, we do Lauren Ipsum. Save view count one. And we have just one more. Uh, Lauren Ipsum, view count one. And um, technology, we have business. Business, okay. 
All right, so we have all this. Now um, we can start playing around. What if somebody clicks this? Where does it take them to? That's what we can do. So I would like to make this a link for now, but um, I would have preferred a different design. So remembering that this was done with Bootstrap um, 4, kind of helps us know exactly how we're going to get a good design. One way is to come to admin LTE and um, click on live preview. Remember this default team is the one we're using. So this is a live preview of the default team we're using, uh, the well designed one. As you can see it has all these nice boxes. So we're going to just scroll down and look for a really nice layout to use. It has all this Basically, you can copy anything here, and I'll show you how to copy it if we find one that is cool. So we could uh, we could eat, uh, as well easily use this as the admin main one, oh, but I'm using for boxes. I'm looking for boxes, forms, tables, calendars, mailbox, examples, multi-level. So basically, um, you can just click around to see what they have. For instance, if we wanted the chart, uh, basically, uh, if we go to UI elements, let's say tables, we go to a table or a form, let's say a uh, simple table, and um, we can right click and inspect elements and copy the code for this. It will work exactly. If we copy the code in inspect elements, you see we have highlighted this code. This whole box, we can just um, copy HTML, see, edit as HTML. See, the whole code is now available to us. We can copy it and paste it in our code and it will start working. But this, desi this design doesn't have exactly what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for can be found on the Bootstraps page itself. So if we, if, if you go to Twitter Bootstrap, get to getbootstrap.com, hit enter. It will bring you to Bootstrap. Just check what's up here to make sure that it's um, Bootstrap 4. There's 4.1, 4.2, whatever. As long as it's within 4, you're good to go. It's already installed in Laravel, so we're just going to click Get Started. So it's going to take us to all this nice stuff. So we're going to go to, I think it's um, Content or Components. So go to Components, go to Cards. So Cards have the kind of design I'm looking for, but you should take your time to go through all this to see all the designs. So I'm looking for something like this where we'll have the picture of the course and then we have the title then we have the body at the same time i want it to make sense straight up like this so if you scroll through you will see different kinds of cards but i'll choose this one you basically see the design and then you see the code so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna copy this code to this place copy so let's see what's the difference between those ones and this one. Oh, okay i think this is better copy this code copy it then we can come to our own the page we're looking for is categories so we'll come to categories and um, categories index so the way we'll find it is we'll go to resources resources views categories and you'll see um, index.blade but there is something let's click index.blade first look at the HTML inside index.blade it is calling layouts you understand it's important for the files inside layouts folder and app.blade. Look at it. Look at layouts folder. Layouts folder app.blade. So as you can see, it's important all the whole code at the top. So what we're going to do is um, um, we're going to find where the rest of the content is. Look at where the rest of the content is. But what happened is that it imported another code inside categories.table. So if we go to categories categories folder and go to table dot blade we're going to see the code this is the table code that is displaying what we have here uh, first for instance you see name and description right then you see view count you see this is a table starting here it has table header name description view count action and it has the body and it has a for each see there's a loop inside the table for each loop it's printing this for each loop it prints one full line like this another loop one full line so now we want to convert it to boxes so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to do it on top of this control B then we can start removing some of these divs card you know there are three cards when we copied it we just need only one remove this 
and um, remove this and because it's a cut deck I'm going to put it outside the forage put this outside and uh, copy this put it outside the end forage so now we've we've done it let's just see what it looks like it's gonna look a little messed up but we just want to be sure of what we're doing refresh um you see it's just a little messed up so this is what it looks like as it, as you can see it's a, a little bit messed up we need to import bootstrap proper so if you go to bootstrap website the documentation where we are at what you're going to see is just click on getting started it will bring you here and click on introduction and uh, you will see this link you need to copy this link and paste it in your layouts app blade layouts at the top here you paste it and um, another thing is we need to also get the next one which is the JavaScript these three have to go with us even though they are all optional the, the JavaScript files are optional we we'll copy them then the same thing we either paste them at the top or we go all the way to the bottom before the closing body tag you see before the closing body tag here we we'll paste ctrl V these are the bootstrap um, files okay so if we come here and refresh keep your eye on this design you see that it now looks like more like um looks more like what we're dealing with a card all right so we need to um adjust it properly so here what i'll do is if i go back to my code on table blade which is in categories table and we scroll up and see what we did um we're going to have to copy the title cut title we call it uh, this copy this then cut description i think before i even do this what i need to do is to find the the perfect card i need if i come here i'll see that this card has this a button here i think i need something like this but more importantly um if i keep scrolling down under cards components cards if i keep scrolling down i'll see a lot more beautiful cards see cards that have all these nice designs you see card that has something like this i think something like this makes sense all right so we can have details of the course uh, i think i can i would have to copy this Um, let's check the next one. I think um, basically this makes sense to me. I don't know about you. You can choose your own design. All right, you're just free basically. As long as you get the general idea of what we're doing, you're you're free to check choose your own design. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. Then with this now, we're going to look at. Um, I think let me leave this for now before I delete it. So with this now, we're going to look at the card title so the card title will copy the category name this is the code that does the category name oops uh, we copy it put here and uh, delete then the description same thing we copy the description highlight drag drag to this place and i want to press enter and delete the bulk of this uh, delete all right and then the next one this is view count right uh we're going to just put view count how many people have viewed it how many people have viewed it uh, let's just say it's gonna be here and then i want a link but let's go see how it looks like first uh, before then let me now copy out the first original one and since i have everything i need uh, i think I do show edit okay there are links we could use but um, let's see what's going to be here first before I finish I just want to pick out this uh, rotating category I want to copy out this and put it outside the table you know this is inside the table right 
I want to put it outside the table. Then end for each outside the table. And I want to cut out the rest of this for now. I'll bring it back, but let me cut out. I just want to see what I've designed so far. So I, uh, this is what we got from Bootstrap. This is the forage. This is forage. Okay, so we'll come here and uh, refresh. Let's just see what it looks like. And uh, there we have it. Very nice. So the, the problem we have now is that they are not stacking up beside each other. And that's perfectly fine. We will fix that. Okay, so to fix that, before we do that, let's bring back what we have here, Ctrl Z. Uh, we will see that if we brought back the table, this is the table we just copied out, alright? So I'm going to remove this space. We see that at the bottom here, there are important links. The, the important links are links for delete and um, a couple other things. I'll just copy those links. We're going to use them soon, but for now, I'll copy it out and delete the rest of the table. And I'll comment it out. So I'll do control question mark, enter. Remember that if whole, this whole thing is a little, if you don't want to type this whole code, you can always get my code from GitHub. So you go to github.com dot com slash Dave Ozala. You will see this course, Laravel course, all right? All right. Um, now we have this, we need to figure out a way to make them stack beside each other. So to do that, we'll simply find, we'll go to Bootstrap website, cards find cards that are stacking beside each other and see what code that was used to make them stay beside each other okay say so these two are staying beside each other but that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for cards a lot of them stacking beside each other and we'll see them shortly um something like this but we need space in between right so we scroll uh -huh, we need something like this in the set of equal width height cards that aren't attached to one another, use card decks. So it's called a card deck. It's called a card deck. So a card deck is supposed to be here. And outside the forage. Oops. Yeah, outside the forage. Okay, so it looks better now. So we now have a card deck, and they're all at the uh, they have all have this um, side by side. Now what we're gonna do is to put an image, just a sample image. So let's use the sample image here. This is an image actually. So to do that, we're going to do copy image address. Um, then we come to a card image here. We're just going to do SRC view. So we copy that image address. Man, it's pretty long. Damn. Okay. But um, what happens is that when we finally refresh, we're still going to remove that image though. But for now, we just want it to appear. Okay. You see how it looks like now. So categories, you can see cost categories. So instead of categories, I'll call it cost categories. So we have table and um, index index reflects table right index look at the index page it reflects table so at the top you see categories so you can call it course categories course categories all right so this is beautiful we have three per page with their description and the user can view more now we need to put links at the bottom so that the user can view uh, to see the links we just need to scroll up and see the buttons the cards that have links in them and if we keep scrolling, we'll see cards, okay? All these kind of links, that's what I need. Um, so the link says go somewhere. That's just basically a button. So if you want to see other design of links you can use, just click on buttons, okay? Click on buttons and uh, see different kinds of buttons you can use. Button tags. So you can always, uh, if you know Bootstrap 3, Bootstrap 4 isn't really hard. Once you get the general concept of Bootstrap 4, it's not really hard at all. Alright, so from buttons, we now know we can use um, in the table, categories table at the bottom. 
at the bottom we now know that we can use buttons here I think I'm gonna use it here paste href cut button cut link okay button primary let's let's see what this looks like refresh we're expecting buttons to appear at the bottom here. oh makes sense okay now so we want people to view category all right or view course or view you can just say all right um view go course go to course do we need another link uh on more details all right so i'll just duplicate this so that we can have two links more details then we can have by course okay this is um category and just say view category I think that's sufficient so here will just be more like the statistics we can say views views you can also do subscribers but uh, that will be in the future for now I just want to remove this too this looks perfect so far So um, the only problem we have now is that some texts are longer than others and that's why um, they are all varying. If we go to bootstrap bot cards, if we go to bootstrap cards, we can find a way to make the cards to have exactly the same height. So if you scroll down, you'll see cards that have exactly the same height, exactly um, identical height and how it can be done so i found it um if you come to cards and you scroll down you see the first one here see the footer is variable you see the height is changing based on the length of the text here but the next one they showed is that the height is not changing the the, the footer is exactly the same which is beautiful now this is the code if we study the code we will see that um, the footer that is stable and the instruction they give here is because it was added as a footer now if we go to our code, our code made this body and there is already a body here. So we're going to change this to footer. All right. So if we get back to our code, you will see right here that it's already a footer. All right. Very beautiful. Then there's this uh, funny word space here. And the reason it's there is because look at this. This is the body of the card that needs to contain everything. But outside the body, the code we had had a list that is under the body we don't want this list let's put it inside inside the body all right basically ha having the view count uh, okay so this way all those word lines will disappear you see the word line just one line here very neatly packed up package now the other beautiful thing we need to do is we need to make this uh the names of the groups we may have to make them uh, links otherwise uh, we can just leave it all right now another thing is we need to break down the text give it a limit so that if there's a long description it shouldn't just all show okay so we need to break this all right so far so good uh, one good thing we can do is to cut this text like we said uh, there's a way to do that in Laravel. Usually when you run into this kind of problem, you just Google how to do XYZ in Laravel Blade. So this is Blade. As you can see, table.blade. So we can see how to cut text in Laravel Blade. You will see that. So the way to do that is this control. I just copied this from the internet Google. Now we basically have to replace the string here with what we have. So this is the description. We're replacing it and delete this. And uh, we can now decide how many characters it will be. So I'll delete this so we can let me just show you how effective it is let me reduce it to 20. if it's down to 20 let's refresh this you see if you count this you see that this is 20. now we can start increasing it it was originally 150 by default let's see what 150 will look like 150. you see what 150 looks like it looks cool 150 looks great all right so um this is sufficient to sh tell what's inside there so want it to be that way 
Another thing is that it seems these guys of, of, of um, occupying too much space. So we're going to use a bootstrap class that says text muted. We want it to be small and at the same time we don't want it to be inside this list. All right. So let's do um, here. Let me just show you what it looks like. Copy this out first. I copied this line from a uh, um, bootstrap website. Now you need to know that the only thing different there is that it, we're using small tag and the text is muted. So when you do text muted class, it will change color to gray. So let me show you. Instead of being exactly black and bold like this, it becomes gray. Re reload. You see, it's now tiny and gray. Yeah, I think this is this is great. Okay, so um, another thing is, let us create another category and see how it will stack up here, whether it will come below or stack up by the side. So I'll click and add new, and um, we're just going to make up a category, uh, health. All right, so health, Ipsum, I don't care about spelling now, Lauren, dollar, message. Copy, paste, 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 view count, three, save. Beautiful. As you can see, stacked up for now very neatly. This is exactly what I want. Another thing we can do is just try one more time and add a new tab and see whether it will stack up by the side or it will go under. So, apart from health, we can have entertainment. Entertainment. And do paste, 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 paste. You count for save. Uh, Laravel has locked us out again. I'll go to call home. I'll log in. And um, oh, this is a problem you meet so many times when um, developing your Laravel or courses. So let's try and create a new course. I will. I'll call it uh, entertainment. Paste. Let me put a high count. Say. So you see, um, endlessly they keep stacking beside each other. This is not what we want. We want some to go below. So what we can do is to change. If we go to Bootstrap website on cards, you see that after card decks, which is somewhere here, after card decks, there's something called card columns, which is the last thing they discussed there. That if you just put dash column on any card it will uh, resize itself up so um we're going to set this to cut columns columns then here i think this makes sense already reload so you see it has spread itself out properly but the thing is that um we are restricting it with this so i think we should just remove this and see how it's gonna spread out you see spread out very well and then the next ones come underneath and so on i think this is okay uh, you can spend more time in the design but um i think this basically solves uh, most of our problem and um, the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that this link works but before we do that we want to correct this number i see we put a large number here and there is no comma a large number should have comma so we're going to use a simple function in php and uh, we're going to find it views so i'm going to do the function in php is called number underscore format put the thing in bracket any number you put in bracket number format automatically convert it to numbers with comma all right you see it has put number comma so it's now 23 million views okay so the next thing is we have to make this link clickable so we go to where the link is view category so we're going to put a link here and to do that, we have to come up to where we saw the show. This is what we're looking for. Copy this link and uh, make it clickable. And then refresh. So you see, uh, if we click on it now, it's going to properly link us to the uh, category. See, links, uh, links us to the category properly. So if we go back. It's going to bring us here. So I'm going to put the other two um, icons and they are inside a form tag. Copy and come here and paste. 
in the footer and remove the view we don't need it so i think this makes sense now let's go check it out refresh so they are here i would have loved them this one to be inside to be on the same line that's what i'm saying so i've put one i put everything inside the same line refresh okay cool they are now on the same line so what i want to do is maybe just creating a little space there there are many ways you can create space there are many ways but i would love to So in Bootstrap 4, you can create space beside anything by just putting margin right or margin whatever, margin top. So margin, that is MR dash. You, you give how many pixels? Here, I want to give 5 pixels. MR5 means after view category, it will give space before this rest tool. So uh, save, of course. You see what it looks like? It gave us space. I want to put a little space between these two too. So I'll put margin right on this guy margin right uh, I can make it another five let me make it three refresh and we're good see so there's space all right then um, another thing we can do is this is button extra small we can make all the buttons the same size if I remove extra small for instance and I remove extra small here it will increase the size of the button refresh you see now the buttons are of the same size beautiful now what i'll do is this edit and delete um should be only available to admins all right so we're going to write a simple short code here that makes the edit and the delete buttons to be available only to admins so what we're going to do is to write um at if hit enter so if auth colon user bracket arrow row underscore id is less than three that is admin or moderator then display these other two buttons otherwise don't ever show those two buttons so if we refresh now because this user is not an admin what is going to happen is that uh, this will disappear so refresh. You see they are gone so our normal users will only see this all right so if we click here beautiful all right so in the next video we will just clean up these places and we'll try and hurry and get to the end before we focus more on um, design again as you can see in this video design seem to have taken a bulk of our time uh, subsequent videos will, we will ignore the actual design and focus on getting the functionality out and ready first so thank you very much see you guys